Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath. And today we're going to learn about factoring trinomials. I'm going to factor each trinomial completely. So if I was given this trinomial, 2n squared plus 6n minus 108. Well, what I notice here is I like it. It's easier to factor when our a value is 1, the coefficient in front of our n squared here. But we don't have that. But I notice I have a 2, a 6, and a 108. Each one of these are even. So I can pull out a 2 from all parts. So pull out a 2 from there, 2n squared, I get a n squared. 6n becomes a 3n. And 108, basically divided by 2, is a 54. 54 there. Okay? So now what I can do is I can imagine a 2 just on the outside, and I can now have, uh, ask the question, what two numbers multiply to be a negative 54 that C value here, and add to be our B value, which is 3. What well, two numbers? Well, 54, I'm thinking 6 and 9, and one's going to be negative, but we want a positive 3. So, if we have a positive 9 and a negative 6, 9 times negative 6 is a negative 54, but 9 plus a negative 6 is a positive 3. So when we break this apart, the 2 still stays outside, and we have our two parentheses here. Okay? We're going to have N the beginning of each one. And then we're going to have the numbers we found here, n plus 9, like that, and n minus 6. And there we go. Our final answer is 2 times n plus 9 times n minus 6. So let's recap. We're given n squared plus 6n minus 108. We can pull out a 2 from all parts, giving me then here, by pulling out a 2 from all parts, we are left with 2 times n squared plus 3n minus 54. Well, now we have a, um, ax squared plus bx plus c, the form right there inside the parentheses, and our a value is 1, so we ask ourselves the question, what multiplies v or c, our negative 54, and adds to our b value, which is positive 3. Those two numbers are 9 and negative 6. So when I factor this out, or um, yeah, factor this out, I have my two parts there. Um, my, um, they just go there next to the n's, and so my final answer is 2 times n plus 9 times n minus 6.